My friends, my friends, you already know that Genius Brain listeners have to be listening to this podcast with Raycon. What is Raycon, my friends? Raycon is premium audio at the perfect price point, so you can listen to what you want, when you want, without breaking the bank, my friends. And I'll tell you this right now, I love my Raycon earbuds because guess what? I'm an audio newbie, and even though I'm an audio newbie, I want good sound quality without breaking the bank, and that's where Raycon comes in. I'll tell you this right now, their custom gel tips are perfect. They're super comfortable, crystal clear, call quality, water and sweat resistant, and eight hours of playtime, and a whole bunch more functions for the right price. Go to buyraycon.com slash brain today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash brain to score 50% off buyraycon.com slash brain. What? It was with Michael Jackson, was in a limo. And oh, it was dude, a girl was that- Oprah? And the girl came up with the titties. And yeah. he goes, he goes, God damn, look at them things. <laughs> <laughs> he, went, he, he, went, he went, hey. Yeah, he like, he like moved Oprah to the side. Like, yeah. oh shit. Like, he, went, he goes, he goes, he goes. I never <laughs> seen, what? He did that. But I that's the that. shit where I'm like, this motherfucker's weird. That's He's what, weird, for so sure. So that's what I saw that. Like, like, he didn't diddle those kids. Okay, okay. Yeah. Ain't a, no way a kid did. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Hello, everybody. This is our no- number one North Korean podcast. North uh, Korean. I do this in yeah. the basement. If I get found, eighth generation of a Korean people die. <laughs> and uh, today we have a number one Chinese companion, Nick the Ear. He uh, woke up one day in a garbage can. Somebody <laughs> pound him and they're like, hey, maybe I keep him around. And then there you go. He's over here. I got pounded. That's got right. Pounded. This guy right here is a Russian colored t-shirt. Looks like it's made out of potato sack. <laughs> 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 Next, we have a, this guy. He's a, like a white guy, but he's not. He's a brown person. <laughs> <laughs> Never make a sense at all. <laughs> Never make a sense, <laughs> Never make a sense. <laughs> Always only speak a Spanish, even though he's a white boy. Come <laughs> <laughs> <Well>, guys. <laughs> What's your intro, motherfucker? Uh, oh, you yeah, my, name, intro my name is... Uh, David So is a number one underground and North Korean. Never lose. I hate a Japanese people all the time. <laughs> <laughs> if you like a sushi, you're gay. <laughs> you're gay. You're gay. Sushi look like a penis. <laughs> sushi look like a penis. This is my favorite intro ever. Yeah, that was good. Ever done. Hey, man, let me tell I you something, too. dude. I, I wish I could just talk like that all the time. <laughs> I think people would never take me seriously at all, though. Just do it. It's really good. You could say racist things. You, you could say fucking sexist things, and nobody would take you seriously. And it's kind of sweet the way you say it. It's I know. Sweet. How kinda come nice. uh, women don't like to stay in a kitchen and barefoot? <laughs> <laughs> you had me at the kitchen part, and you lost me at the barefoot part. I don't understand. How come they never give you sex when you ask? Yeah. <laughs> Why do I need to ask a permission? <laughs> you were made of poor me. <laughs> wow, I have to ask? Yeah, yeah. That's a crazy. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a crazy. <laughs> I never ask. I just take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, by the way, guys, this is a character. I'm kidding. This is a this is a North Korean. If you guys don't know, I used to do YouTube a lot. There was a character named Kim Jong Ila. I used to do. He was a North Korean character. I legit used to do this guy. And he was the number one. <laughs> He was so arrogant. He was number one at everything, but he was just a North Korean dictator mm. <laughs> and everybody would lie. So number one basketball player, number one husband, number one everything. Mm. And that's why he's an asshole. I don't want to get canceled. That's why. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. You can't cancel me. I'm uncancelable. I, I think you're nothing. fine, dude. You're fine. Yeah, I think you're Kim fine. Jong Ila, great name, by the way. Well, yes. Yeah, great, great, <laughs> it started great. off as the number one rapper uh-huh. and then he went to number one husband, number one basketball player. You telling me Kim Jong Ila got bars? My he boy. has a bar. So watch the give me okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, hey, my name is a Kim Jong Ila. He's a number one rapper in all of North Korea. Give me one topic. I'm a spit a hot pyre. <laughs> 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 Tell me right now. Give me give me a number one topic. I spit a hot pyre. Go ahead. I never lose sandwiches. Sandwiches. Okay. Hey, listen. I eat a sandwich. It has a lot of meat. <laughs> This is my penis. You bet I beat all day. This guy, Pat, has a big dick. I don't care. He's a white boy. He has a hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jay, you that described it to a T. That was ne- good. Hey, I never lose. <laughs> never lose. <laughs> Every day, number one basketball player, Lebron James. <laughs> Lebron James. <laughs> Lebron James. He's a number one steroid abuser. <laughs> Nobody say I never use a steroid. <laughs> That was probably one of the dumbest characters I've ever done in my life. And it was hilarious. My favorite character. That was good. The YouTube back in the day, you could do whatever. It was super fucking fun. I feel like, you know, no one, you could probably, so you could say you're North Korean anything and everybody's like, 
for all. Do you think for it. they mm. would trip if you did that character now? You know what I don't like? I think people just don't care about like thought out content. Mm. They just want 60 second content ever since like the onset of um, like Vine was really one that, that started it off. Like one of the content that I hate the most is people when they set up a fucking camera and it's a couple doing couples arguing shit mm. and it's the worst actors ever. Yeah. And they just sit in the corner. Hey, babe. So uh, I'm going to go out with Peter. What do you think? Oh, you're going to go out with Peter? Uh, uh, when are you come back? <laughs> oh, you know, just, you know, we're just gonna come back whenever, uh, you know. And then there's the robotic voice in the band. My boyfriend is the jealous type. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. uh, I guess I'm gonna come with you. No, no, no. It's this. It's just me and Peter. We're gonna have dinner. Okay, you gotta get eat. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Oh my god, dude! Fucking go die. By the way, if you're an Asian person, you do that. You're an idiot, and I do not claim you at all. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you're an Asian person. Very specific. Well, because yeah, a lot of yeah. a- Asian couples do that shit online. Well, it's just so lame. That shit is cringy it's as fuck. It's just so, it's so cringy. cringy. You know like, what? Another ooh. subsect of like uh, couple stuff that I see. I don't know why I see it, but it's like girls who are dating guys who are way older than them, and their whole page is like based on that. And it's like, why? Like a sugar daddy? Not in this, maybe a sugar daddy. Maybe they're just like insecure about like their situation being a sugar daddy situation, so they have to claim that like, oh, I like him because. Like he's old, like he's older. So like there's perks to the relationship and they have all these fucking lame <laughs> posts and they use the robot voice and they, it's like, I dude, no one cares. Cut, cut, hey. yeah. I hate it, dude. I'm like, 22. He's 45. And they do like stupid fucking dances. <laughs> and, <they're, laughs> and I'm like, dude, who cares? Nobody yeah, yeah. cares, dude. Yeah, he's I don't a, care. In a retirement. And home. why is this on my feed? And like one of watching the, it. One God of the things it. I wish too is like those people, like I wish somebody would just delete their account and hack them because mm. I want to see their reaction. Mm. Because their whole life is based on people validating their relationship. Like, oh, I want to, oh my God, couples goals. Really? I bet he beats you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. God, I'm, but I'm, it, that's wild though, right? To live like that. Like just like having everyone else's validation about your fucking Dude, I literally talked to my mom about this today in the car. And then she was just talking about how long I've been on this space. Mm-hmm. And I said, mom, like the reason why I've been able to survive on this space is because I actually have friends. You know, like some of these other kids. That's and I, it's like every time I talk to them, they always say the same shit. I don't have any friends in the city. It's because you're a loser. Did you ever realize that? Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever wake up in the morning? Look and in the you, camera and tell them right there. Yeah. Bro. Hey, you're, you don't have friends because you're a fucking loser, yeah. dude. That's yeah. true. And though. that's something you could change. Yeah. You yeah. could change that instantly. Yeah. Stop looking. Your fans are not your friends. There's mm. people who appreciate your content. They're not your fucking friends. They don't know you. Mm. Right. And you know, maybe like, look, I've had a fan too that he actually became a friend. His name is um, uh, Donovan. Rude Koji. He's a, he's a videographer. He's a dancer. And I connected with him just because I liked his content. And it turns out he's a nerd like me. And then we really fucking connected and we became friends. But that didn't happen overnight. Like we became friends over time. Mm. And so it's weird when I see these kids, they go, I can't make any friends. It's because your perception of friendship is what you see online. You want to do the whole, oh, let's do a reel together. Let's do all this other shit. I've had fucking like kids who are really popular who got popular on like um, TikTok and shit that are fans of mine. And then immediately they go, hey, can we do a video together? No, I don't know you. Like they'll, so they'll, They'll try to do that of like the first interaction with you. Yeah, it's just really odd. But I think the the mistake that I'm making is that I think that's their generation. They don't care about collabing. Mm-hmm. Hey, dude, you want to collab with me? You gotta make a TikTok with me. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> and they think no. that when you, you know say me no, for forever, dude, Come on. still don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's just the weirdest thing ever. And so yeah. when I say no, they take it offensively and they go, oh, it's oh, because you think you're better than me. It's like, no, I just don't want, how come I just don't, I can't do it because I don't yeah. want to do it? I yeah, can't say right. no. Right, right, right. How come I can't say no? It's because Consent. in their world. Yeah. Hey, this is a number. Oh, they're North Korean. I guess. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, yeah I forget. Yeah. They're North Korean. Mm. <laughs> I said, no. They're like, I'm not asking poor consent. <laughs> this is a D-man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> D-man. I like how he just says like, it's like D-man. a D-man. It's like a D-man. D-man. Yeah. And you know so what else nice is bad is the, the the gym couple videos. First of all, gym videos, people gym that videos. record themselves like like at I go to Speakeasy, motherfuckers are like baby oiled up. I've seen like camera crews around dudes, cringy as fuck. But I've also seen the couple videos, like like a guy helping this girl squat, and then she, or the caption is like, "He has my back when the weight is too heavy." <laughs> <laughs> and it's like in slow, it, dude. It's so cringy, and it's like in slow motion. And he's like, "Yeah, you got this, babe." And she's like, it like zooms in, and she like, ah, and then she like goes back, like she couldn't the first time, and or, then he like helps her, and then she does it the second time. Or the dude. ones where like couples are like doing like the guys doing a push up, and the girl's like on his back or something, mm, she's like sitting. laying like, 
Yeah, yeah. Like, reading, like all the fucking hacky shit, dude. I love it's it. It's like, what, what are you? Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you? Are you what a person? Is this? Yeah. This is trash. And who is this for? Like, who's watching this shit? Like, oh, dude, this is me. Like, I get that. I like vibe with it. I saw a I, gym video. This dude was running on a treadmill. I think I sent it to you. He's He's got a weighted vest and he's running on those treadmills. That's kind of a curve where you can really sprint on. And it's in slow motion. And he has the 300 Spartans like, what is your profession? <laughs> who, who, you know, that part of the, oh, man. he's running in slow motion sprinting. And it's like, dude, like you're not going to war. You're jogging. <laughs> you're running. You're jogging in an air conditioned room. <laughs> you idiot. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Yeah, I love that comparison to like, dude, this is war, dude. What is your profession? This is on a treadmill. Like, <laughs> like dude, what the fuck is this? But the bullshit? thing is, like, it gets millions of views. Yeah. And like, I, I, maybe it's, listen, I like social media. I think it's dope. The problem is, is like the youth, their whole life is this now. They don't have any like outside experience. Right. And like, I, I think like the level of sensitivity that I've seen from younger people, it kind of is astounding. It's not all young people, by the way, right? There's still like young people who think that this is dumb. And you know, that's probably like the fan base that I have. But when I see people who are just constantly offended by everything, it's like, how do you live like this? There are people I know that are like peers of mine that they cannot read negative comments. <laughs> Because it blows their mind that somebody dislikes the things that they do. Blows their fucking mind. They cry over it. They wow. literally cry over it. Like, okay, well, if I put up this post, okay, if I say this, it might be, it, people might consider this offensive. You're not wow. that important. Yeah. Nobody fucking cares about you like that. Like the, the level of, how narcissistic are you? That right. you think that people actually give that many fucks about you? Right. Like legit, right. okay, let's say you have a million followers, right? You have 500,000, 400,000 followers. Guess what? If you die tomorrow, they're moving on like but you'll yeah, get yeah. you get one post though. You get at least a post. There you go. You'll Dude, let's check the this out. So so do you know this guy named Jackfruit? Mm -mm. So Jackfruit is like an Asian news media source, right? Mm -hmm. On Instagram, they post a lot of like Asian hate stuff and also a lot of like other funny comedians that are Asian American or whatever, right? And it was this guy named David. So it turned out yesterday that he committed suicide. And he put up this post that was, you know, that sign that somebody's gonna off himself a little bit. And I know what was the sign oh, he posted something before? Yeah, you can see it on here. I'll I'll, I'll find it right now. But uh, he's been on the space for a while. He's reposted a lot of my shit. Um, a really nice dude. Oh, here's so Jackfruit F R O T. So two hundred forty one thousand followers, right? And he had a post. Oh, they took it down. Took it down. They took down the post where he wrote. It's almost like his final goodbye. Mm. Oh, I wish it was there. But now it's just like all this in loving memory stuff. But he basically wrote kind of like an alarming thing where it made it seem like he was going to kill himself, right? Oof. And everybody's like, oh, check on your people, everything else like that. Here, here's my take on that. And people may agree or disagree. Like, what the fuck did you think was going to happen? For a guy where his whole existence now is him finding Asian people getting beat up, mm. burned, all this negative shit. Yeah. Like when you live on your, if you're already mentally unstable <clears throat> and your whole life is based on comments and likes, that is your identity. Yeah. Mentally, it's going to fuck yeah. you up. So he runs the whole page. I thought he, it was like a couple of dudes. Maybe. I think he ran the page mainly. I could be wrong. Oh. And the only reason I'm saying it, and by the way, this isn't critique or anything. I'm just saying like, I feel for him. Yeah. Because. Because you you have friends and like we all have yeah, friends I have, in the space. Yeah, this is my space. Yeah. So they I, do the shit and then they read comments and like that really does fuck with their mental. It fucks with them. And also too, like the stuff that he's posting, a lot of it, it's funny stuff and it's, um, you know, cool content. But the other 60, 70% is this person getting burned alive, yeah. this racist shit, this, all this other stuff. It's really easy to see the, like the worst in people. And this is the stuff that he has to hunt for every day. Yeah. Cause that's what gets, gets clicks. That's mm -hmm. what people want to see. They want to see fucked up shit in their feed to start off their day. Dude, yeah. Sometimes. Like you don't think that's going <clears> to <throat> fuck them up? Like, for sure, it's going to yeah. fuck him up. Yeah. And so when people are like, I'm surprised this happened. How are you surprised? When, you're, when your job is to look for shit all the time. And then that's what you live in every fucking day. Yeah, right. And that's what social media mm -hmm. is, right? Like mm -hmm. you, you just find something that's popular so you can get validated 24 fucking seven. That's why I just want to see what happens to people. If somebody just magically went like this, yeah. I delete Instagram, Twitter, and your fucking TikTok. Mm. Dude, there was girls 
there was a girl who fucking cried because her TikTok got deleted. And she's like, my life is fucking over. Like I have nothing to live for. She's bawling because she goes, my life is over. I'm like, your life is over. She goes, this was my career. It was your career. Yeah. Right. Look it. Like, and at the end of the day too, it's like, so this whole time you didn't develop this into anything else besides you dressing up in clothes and doing dances with your titties out. Yeah. And you expected this to be, to last forever. Right. What the fuck were you thinking? You got OnlyFans though or what? Hey, let me tell you something. I jacked off to her. <laughs> <laughs> So the weirdest thing I ever see, people <laughs> who set up a camera and cry. Oh, bro. That is bananas. Have you seen the ones with the nurses? No. No. Oh, dude, the nurses are fucking crazy. What so it's mean? like they'll set up a camera and then they'll walk out in front of the camera, obviously. And then she'll be like, I see this, I've seen a couple of the, these videos. She'll start crying. And then the caption will be like, I lost another patient today. And then it'll like it'll go dot, dot, dot. Just a couple more hours, get through the day, blah, 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 blah. Right. So, like, she's a nurse. Yeah. She's on the job. And she's like, I feel so sad about my patient dying. Let's put up this tripod real quick. Oh, Jesus Christ. And, 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 and in, in the meantime, someone else is dying because they, <laughs> the they need line. oxygen. <laughs> and you're over here like, Nurse, lost the patient. I need help. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> you're ruining my TikTok. And then she sits off to the side and she's like, yeah, I feel like nurses you know, are crazy, bro. Some nurses are, are like kind of a crazy some demographic of, of people, huh? This is my favorite shit too. It's women. like, I look, I actually they like really this are. shot because it's really great for like on a film perspective. Uh -huh. But it's when you when you take yourself out of it and you realize what this person did, it's pretty fucking hilarious. It's mm -hmm. like, get ready with me, and then the, oh yeah, and dude. the shot is them waking up. Mm -hmm. I'm like, <laughs> somebody set up that camera and turned it on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that means you uh woke up, <laughs> set it up, and yeah. you crawled right back in bed, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then you went. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, then yeah. you went, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, me and Tip, we watch these travel YouTubers and they're great. They're, they're called like Cara and Nate or whatever. And they always, every fucking, no, they'll do like really luxurious stuff and they'll do like vlogs or they're waking, they're sleeping in the middle of a beach with like little sand crabs everywhere biting the shit out of them. <laughs> but they always do that shot in the morning. And they're like, oh, and they get up. And Tiff always goes like, do they set that camera up every single time? A hundred percent. They have to. They have to. That's it. First of all, nobody wakes up like a fucking Disney cartoon. Yeah, yeah. right. You know how I wake Ooh. up? I go, oh, well, my dick is hard. Should I jack off? Or... No, I'm be late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I get up. My face is all bloated as yeah. shit. My eyes are swollen fucking face shut. Face ID don't recognize you, Exactly. Bro. Yeah, like, yeah. who is this fucking ogre? <laughs> <laughs> so my phone will wake up. I get my eye drops. I'm like, quinky. And I wake up, I see my fucking wife snoring her ass off. I'm like, yeah. hey, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> shut up! Still doesn't wake up. Doesn't wake up still. That's a normal morning, dude. Yeah. Whenever I see that shit, I'm like, I'm that's out. hilarious. It takes me out. Like from a cinematic point of view, it looks great. Mm. But just me thinking it from the outside, it cracks me the what fuck up. What they had to do to yeah. get that shot. They hop out of bed or some shit. <laughs> Love it. But I don't oh. mind when the girl's half naked. Have you ever woken up like this? Never, dude. Uh, Never. Wrist like this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could you imagine them doing that shit and then the, the, the framing is off? They go, I gotta do it again. Fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or they trip on the way over. Bro, this your is, wrist should never be like this. Nah, dude. I don't think ever, in, any, man, in, ever, ever. ever in any situation ever, your Ooh. wrist should never be like this. Ever. Yeah, yeah, squeeze, unacceptable. Squeeze, squeeze. No, 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 no. Unacceptable behavior okay. for a man. You I don't like it. in the face. Yeah, oh, instantly. Yeah. 100%. If you're a guy and you wake up like that, like, like actually, you should be punched in the face. Yeah, he, he, on site. You should be, yeah, they on should site. take you, they should neuter you. Neuter, oh, neuter. We're yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you North Korean now? You should not be able to All reproduce. Right, you do a North Korean yeah. accent and say that fucking, fucking salacious shit again. I don't, you know, I don't really have a good North Korean. Can you coach me through like a good Korean accent? Okay, so you, I always go. Like that's that. actually that's, pretty good though. That's that's what I like to do. If you ever want to imitate a Korean, that's actually what Korean sounds like. I'm yeah. not even kidding. That's that's because I love, especially after watching <clears> like Physical 100. A lot of stuff. Physical I love 100 the way dope. they speak. I love the way Korean people speak. It's just so like expressive. It kind of reminds me of, like Cantonese. It's, it's very, like, very expressive. Yeah. Yeah, I love it, dude. Those people, that show made me feel like a piece of shit. Yeah, dude. I was like, Physical 100. give yeah. up, give they, up working out. Did you watch it with the dub though? No, absolutely not. Dude, Why that, would you do that? Because it's the dub is so bad that oh, it's. Fucking, why do they have the worst players to do it? It's it's actually really funny. I really want to see you grab that rock. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> he's so strong. Awesome, try again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> 
and they dub the size even like even like the if the, the guy goes ah, the guy. they gotta go oh like they even oh. sigh like their little like their little things they didn't have to fucking yeah, dub. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. dub all that shit dude <laughs> wow so explosive arms powerful yeah, it's bad. Yeah, like like people talk like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is so fucking hilarious. But that, that physical 100 <laughs> show was so interesting because I just didn't know Korean people could get buff like that. Dude, they dude were, they're all ripped. You see the guy that looks like Bart? Sexy Yama was on yeah. there. <laughs> you see the guy that looks like Sexy, Sexy, Sexy Yama. Yama, dude. Who, won, did, who did it? Is it over? Did somebody yeah, win? It's over. Yeah, it's who over. won it? Uh, was it? Sexy Yama? I didn't see the last Sexy episode, Yama. but the- Some Ice Climber guy or something. Ice climb? That's wrong. He was a CrossFit guy. I, uh, ice climb? You know what? I actually cried on one of the episodes. Why? Which one? It was the one. Hey, don't look at me like I'm gay fool. Why? <laughs> what the fuck? It, what was the the one, fuck? it was the one with uh, Sexy Yama and he was uh, doing a little MMA match with the guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, that shit made you that cry, made you cry? That, shit, that shit made me tear up. Why? I, you know what it was, man? <laughs> yeah, make fun of this dude, right? All right. You know what it was, <laughs> Why did it make fun of It was because it? it was nice to see somebody get to do something with his hero. Oh. Uh, because he really, really looked up to him. And he got to do this man to man type of moment with the guy that he idolizes. Yeah. And he got to do it in the way that he wanted to do it. They oh. kind of they kind of just slap box a little bit. Yeah. Though, huh? And you know what made me cry? Because I felt the same way about how you felt, like watching that. But it was with the bodybuilder, the female bodybuilder going against the MMA guy. Oh, that guy beat the shit out of him. And though. the MMA guy beating her up. I was like, yeah, dude. <laughs> I fucking, I love to see it. Man. Dude, he that looked like a ass. serial killer. He was a fucking creep, dude. Yeah. Everybody was like, oh, I don't like this. The People were like, try again. Guy? And he goes, he goes, this. The, there was an MMA. Yeah. Like he just kept doing this. He thought he was fucking, he thought he was John Jones, really. Yeah. He was like the, he was like this like skinny little scrawny MMA dude. And he was like, I guess the female bodybuilder picked him. And it was the one where they had to fight for the medicine ball. The ball, yeah. And he just was like, fucking her ass up and, it, and then he was like kind of being smug about it which is like so not cool <laughs> like he was trying to look cool as like, yeah. beating her ass like, like judo is his thing oh okay so it's just he was, like hip tossing just her flipping shit. the shit out of her so he had his knee into her fucking stomach she couldn't do shit yeah wow and it was all technique versus strength and so this guy was tossing her ass <laughs> around dude and he's like just walking like a cool guy to the mm -hmm. medicine ball like <laughs> yeah it, literally the gate opened and his hands were in his pocket yeah, wow. he tried to be yeah. a cool guy. And then uh, they were screaming and one of the people were like, you have to try harder. And he looks at the girl, he goes, to be quiet. And wow. then they were, the girl was like shook, like, oh, this guy's creepy. He scares me. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's like a murderer. He was nuts. creepy. What yeah. a creep. he, did he make it far on the show? He made it pretty far, but then he lost because his team lost. Mm. So that whole team got eliminated. Oh, it turned into teams? Yeah, that's oh, when it gets that pretty far. nuts, man. I didn't get into that far. Yeah, that makes me want to be fit. Yeah, that, those motherfuckers are yoked. Yeah. And then they would out of nowhere have like a crossing guard or something. For us. <laughs> <laughs> they had like the dopest specimen, like Navy SEAL special, like Olympic fucking world. Lift, and then like, hey, a fucking substitute teacher. Like, Who <laughs> the fuck is that guy? Yeah. Stack. Kinda. So every Kinda. day, there's an old lady that walks on my street. I tell her, you better hurry it up. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <so> my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> like, why the fuck is a substitute teacher here with these guys? The worst episode, the most mismatch was that buff um, prison guard versus the fucking Olympian wrestler. Oh, yeah. And he double legged the shit out he of it. He was tossing around. I felt was bad it, for Was guy. it the same contest, the medicine ball? It was, was the medicine the, ball oh, thing. Okay, okay. That one was so unfair because he, he suplexed him. He Damn. suplexed a guy that was like 260 pounds. Wow. Over and over. And over and he over. He kept suplexing He him took then? his back and he full on suplexed him, dude. Wow. And he, and afterwards too, you know, usually people like dap you up or something. No daps. He just told him to get the fuck out of there. Wow. He was so fucking into it. Damn. Like Korean people. So mean, bro. Korean people have a chip on their shoulder, dude. Yeah. Like when I saw him, I'm like, that's the most Korean thing he could have done. Really? really? Like, get the fuck out of here. Like you're, you're like my little brother. Like you're not on my level. I feel like wow. there's opposite sides of the spectrum though. Huh? Yeah, they're either really like, polite or they're assholes. Yeah, like I feel like all the Korean people are, that I meet are very extremely nice. And then the other is like- Thank you. David, so. But you're not, you're, 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 you, you're a sweetheart deep down, dude. No, I'm a sweetheart all around. Shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? I'm hella nice. <laughs> nah, dude. You see how he club. berates us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the nicest motherfucker ever, dude. Hey, dude, we're united. We're not going to take it anymore. <laughs> yeah. <Okay? laughs> yeah. Really? Squeeze my hand When's the last harder, time you dude? saw him? Last time we did this podcast. <laughs> okay? Terrible. Yeah. But he's a father. Okay? We have no time. <laughs> we right? have no time. You know what's Man. really sad about that? You were holding his hand, but he wasn't holding it back. <laughs> That's why I was telling him to fucking squeeze me harder. Hurry up, yeah, man. Just my knuckles turn white because I'll squeeze <laughs> so Okay, hold it back.
You know what? Someone, uh, when they first saw, uh, I forgot it was this lady I was talking to when Squid Games first came out. She was like, the acting is just so bad. Like, this is bad acting. And then I was like, what a bitch. She was like, they're just so like expressive and like, too, and I was like, I think they're just being Korean. Like, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think, like, they're great actors, actually. Dude, I even talked to this guy. I was like, <laughs> hey, man, have you seen Parasite? He goes, yeah, man. Parasite's a fucked up movie. He's like, what's up with Korean people, man? Are <laughs> hey, they doing I don't okay? Remember saying that. Yeah, yeah. He was like, he's hey. like, He's like, why is it so dark? Like, what's going it's on? It's a great movie. It's a great movie. Yeah, and Korean like, shit. That is, movie's fucked up. That movie's what great. Koreans, Korean people are really good at, right? Dude, Koreans are killing it. Korean people are really. The if you, if you right notice, now. even in Parasite, right? <laughs> They're number one ranked. <laughs> They're the hottest Asian right now. Dude, seriously, hey. I agree. Hey, <laughs> I'm on he, board. It's I'm either team us Korea. or the Japanese. All right, mm -hmm. but nah, Japanese had their time in the sun. I think it's Korean time now. Mm -hmm. That's right. They have anime. We have hot bitches. Hot bitches. The movies. The shit that's coming out. The like, movies. The fucking physical one hundred. Everyone can't stop talking about that. Dude, Korean, that's a squid game. Korean people squid are really good fantastic. in film because like we have a very weird and odd sadistic sense of humor. Because even yeah. in Parasite, how it's many funny. jokes were there? Yeah, it was funny. Yeah. That's and what the was cinematography was it's so funny. good, that's dude. All Korean, like you'll never see a Korean movie that's a horror film that doesn't have a joke in it. Yeah. It's always like that. They have to break up the monotony of horror. But that's that's the secret to a good horror movie. A hundred percent. You need to have some humor yeah. so sprinkled in there. Later tonight, go watch a movie called Old Boy. And then you will see. Oh I've heard of Oldboy. That is one of the most sick fucking movies you'll ever see. Really? That and I Saw the Devil. Also a very sick movie. What's I Saw the Devil? I Saw the Devil is one of my favorite movies. Probably there's two movies that are my favorite. That's in like top three. I Saw the Devil. I Saw the Devil is a psycho, is a psycho thriller about a, a, a cop who gets his wife is murdered by a serial killer. And then the cop becomes basically he hunts down the serial killer mm. and tortures him. By That's gangster. Like catch and release. Oh, Dude. The fucking so he'll, he'll capture him. And then he'll knock his ass out, fuck him up, like tear his shit up, and then release him again so he can catch him again. Whoa. That's so tight. Korean people love revenge. Reven Damn. Dude, they do it the best. Mm -hmm. I love a good revenge Damn, movie. Damn, that's dude. wild. Yeah. It's so old boy is so good for that reason. Like the revenge. It's revenge. Ooh. It's just all revenge. So love you it. if you love revenge, watch Old Boy or watch I Saw the Devil. I'll check. Yeah, I've heard of old I've heard a lot of people recommend Old Boy to me. You're gonna watch some stuff in like but I Saw the Devil where you're gonna be like, Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Like what, is what's wild. one of them? Give me, uh, give me a little sneak he peek. He finds a pedophile. Uh -huh. He takes a steel pipe and starts smashing his dick in. Oh. And then you see him hit his dick and his dick breaks and it just curves like this. Oh, oh my they God, show dude. that? I screamed. <laughs> I went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, bro. <laughs> that shit shook Damn. me, dude. <laughs> Damn. Screamed so loud. Damn. <laughs> I wow. can't believe they show a hard dick getting smashed. It was, bro. You see it through his tidy whities but then you oh. see him hit the dick and it goes. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, bro! Dude, honestly, the cinema, like, like I said, Parasite was fucking fantastic. Squid Games, the shit, like they're just fucking killing it. Yeah, like, man. There's uh, there's a role. There's, there's another uh, film called The Wailing that I really liked. It's mm. a it's a horror film. Uh, I don't like horror films, but The Wailing is about like shamanism and like like demon shit. Mm. But it's like a like a thriller slash horror film and it's on Amazon. I bought it for like whatever, three bucks. It's one of my favorite films of all time. Mm. Like Korean films are the shit, man. It's the only reason why I like acting is because of Korean some comedies, bro? You got some good Korean comedies? Like I don't really like uh, horror movies. Yes, there's the, my only rom-com I ever liked is uh, My Sassy Girl. They did a I version, like the name already. They did a version of that in, in the States and it bombed. Really? Yeah, they Who actually, was in it? Um, there's two really famous actors. She's not so popular anymore because she got a little older. Yeah, Korean people throw away old people like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> She's like 27. Yeah, but my sassy girl, <laughs> my gone. sassy girl, if you guys watch my sassy girl, you'll understand my humor. Mm. Got it. So I'm gonna watch my sassy girl. It's it's literally like about a name. psychotic like girl. Like she's fucking nuts. Mm. But um, this guy is such a fucking goofball. When I watch, if you watch my sassy girl, you look at the guy, you'll be like, is this guy playing David? Yeah. <laughs> when my mom watched that movie, she goes, oh, this guy reminds me of you. And when I watched it, I'm like, this is terrible because he's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> but it's one of my favorite rom-coms of all time. And I hate rom-coms. Mm. So My Sassy Girl is up, up there. That's really, really yes. funny. My, I won't forget that name. My Sassy Girl. My Sassy Girl. I'm going to put Pat in my phone as My Sassy Girl. My Sassy Girl. Oh, you'll love it, dude. You're top G still on my phone. Oh, dude, let's go. Like, Andrew Tate G, lovers. Dude. Let's go. Top top G. 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 For top, life, oh, so if you guys don't know, we did a podcast about Andrew Tate and I got all the information wrong. And so it was like 30 minutes of me just, just <laughs> all the wrong information. So I decided not to put it up. <laughs> But what, what did you get wrong? What did you say? Uh, I said he was innocent. <laughs> I, said, I said all this other salacious shit. Yeah. I'm like, mm, I should have probably read a few things. Uh, yeah, because he was saying stuff like um, he, he so, wasn't in jail. Mm, I just got everything wrong. 
But I was only reading his tweets. Isn't there like not any information out anyway? What's going on? What is actually Well, going he's on? in jail for human trafficking and there's a lot of evidence against yeah. him. He probably was doing that shit, no? Yeah. And so I, I don't, people don't know what's happening, but this is the interesting thing about the internet. He was the hottest thing on the internet, right? Mm. It his videos are so good. His engagement was through the roof. I was commenting on him. It only takes like, yeah, one you month. Tell them, <laughs> yeah, you tell these two women. Co- tell these motherfuckers. Two coffees, I say. <laughs> yeah, that's Nick Dunn right there. I love two coffees. That's yeah, my coffees. favorite bit. One, two, amputate. one just sits. <laughs> I drink one, the other one sits. Yeah, just in case I want it. Just he case. would say stuff. I think he was very tactical about the things that he would say. Right. For sure. It was just so re- he was playing a character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think he really played up a character really well. Yeah. And the internet He's moves so fast. Dude. One month, you don't see any of his stuff anymore. Even even if let's say he's in jail, he can't create. He wasn't creating his content, but that's how much people don't care about anything in this world anymore. Yeah. They only care about it if it's the hot topic. Mm. But once it moves on, they don't care. Like even somebody mm. like Logan Paul, so transactional, huh? right? I'm not even talking about Logan Paul in this in the suicide forest thing, right? Logan Paul had the, his crypto zoo scam. He stole millions from people, and he still has a career. How? Mm. People he said he was going to give it back. He hasn't though. That's what he said. That's what he said, dude. But Logan check Paul it out. Always delivers. He said he promise. was going to give back about like a <laughs> mil something, right? Right. And that was only for people who bought the NFT. But what about the tokens? The tokens are millions and millions of dollars. People are out a shit ton of money because of it. Who's still Damn. buying NFTs, bro? Dog, NFTs were such a weird craze, right? The NFT thing was supposed to be something that was really, really good what for a artists. Flash in the pan. Yeah. NFTs were supposed to be originally the idea that artists should be making money off of their art because in the digital world, people could just steal your shit. Mm -hmm. So it was supposed to be, okay, look, if I'm an artist, right? I create this digital art. Well, anybody can just go right, click, save and post it. And that was it. But if you give it an actual digital tag, it shows the authenticity of this. So I could beam it anywhere. We could put it into a museum, beam it, and it has like the authenticity tag, whatever the, the coding behind it. And it shows that this is an original art piece. Like you do, you could do with physical art. So if you want to buy this art, it was a way for an artist to be like, okay, it sold for, when I first sold it, it sold for $100, right? But now it's worth a lot more. It's worth 10 million. Well, I have coding in it that you could, for every time you sell it, I get 10% of that sale. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was a way for artists to make money off of That was art. the cool part. That was yeah. the cool part of the tech. But I feel like a bunch of assholes took advantage of it, saw a cash grab, mm-hmm. put out their own version of it, and then they would fucking rug pull. And then that kept happening so much where everybody was like, well, fuck this thing. Yeah, like I can't like, put faith even in Even Crypto Zoo is stupid. So you have these eggs, right? And they're like, oh, this is like some really digital artist shit. It would be like, oh, it's a duck and a fucking elephant put together. And they just spliced it together. This is your fucking animal. It was a scam. Yeah. You know, and somehow he Tamagotchi's still has a career. People that. don't fucking Tamagotchi's care. Serious. He opens up a drink called Prime, right? Nobody gives a fuck that he stole millions from his fans. Nobody fucking cares. Yeah. That's why when people complain about shit online, all of you are fake as fuck. None of you care about shit. So I'll say and do whatever because guess what? Even if I did fuck up, which I won't. You won't care anymore. Yeah. But that's the truth. It's like, like no one really cares. Nobody People cares. like to seem like they care, but they don't actually care. Yeah, this is that's all the fake. Day. That's, the, that's the, the name of the game. Yeah. This podcast is brought to you by Raycon, my friends. What is Raycon? If you don't know, well, now you know. Raycon is premium audio at the perfect price point. So you can listen to what you want when you want without breaking the bank, my friends. And let's face it, with coffee starting at $5 and our bank account somehow always depleting, we are officially entering a dupe session. Most products do the same thing, but are priced differently solely based on the brand name. So a good duplicate or dupe is crucial for getting the highest quality at the best price. One dupe you shouldn't sleep on is Raycon wireless ear buds. And the great thing about my Raycons is that they're priced perfectly. So, and I tend to lose my earbuds a lot that if I lost them anyways, I can get amazing earbuds at the proper price, price, price and replace them without losing an arm and a leg. You know what I'm saying? Three customizable sound profiles, earbud tap functions, noise isolation, and a whole bunch more. Go to buyraycon.com slash brain today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash brain to score 15% off. That's buyraycon.com slash brain. Like, we can should, I just seem like I care? Speaking of that, we should talk about the Chris Rock special, right? Yeah, that's that's the go. one that I'm really- It was great. First of all, Tambourine, I thought was okay. Yeah, me too. I didn't really I, like Tambourine. Yeah. I, I thought it was okay. It was okay. The one joke that I I do remember from that though is where he talks about how he cheated on his wife. Yeah. He's like, I cheated on my wife. And he's like, women, you're like, I know. You're like, Chris Rock, how could you do that? You're a piece of shit. He's like, I cheated on like with three women. He's like, you're a piece of shit. Like, how could you do that? Yada, yada. Like, you're an asshole. 
And guys are like, only three women? Like, you must have really loved your wife, dude. <laughs> like, I worked at UPS. I got more bitches than that. <laughs> I was like, Damn, that's, a good, that's a good fucking joke. He but had, that's it. That's all I remember. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, obviously you do. Will Smith slapped the living fucking shit out of Chris Rock, right? Because uh, he spoke about Jada Pinkett Smith. He Pinkett. Made, he made a really soft joke too. It was a G.I. Jane joke, right? Yeah, it was like something about, yeah, G.I. Jane sequel, see you, Jada. It it's about her, her hair being, uh, uh, fucking having sure. a buzz cut, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And honestly, that joke was soft as shit. And the funny thing is, if you look at that video clip, Will Smith was laughing at first. And then he saw his wife's face. And then he went from that to keep my name's wife out your fucking mouth, walks up to Chris Rock and slaps the living shit out of him, right? Yeah. And then Chris Rock was like, yo, what the fuck was that? Like, I can't believe that shit just happened. And he moved on, kept it professional, moved on. So during this time, Chris Rock was touring. He decided to make a special. And the reason why I like this special, because it was so different from his last, because now he has some shit to talk about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He had right. some fire. He had some he had fire. fire. Crazy like, how that he, shit works, right? And what I noticed too, is he went kind of back, not completely to his old cadence, but Tambourine was like, he was kind of like, it, he wasn't the Chris Rock. You remember he used to pace mm -hmm. and like he had his very like, da, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? He had like that style. It yeah, was almost yeah. like a character. Yeah. Tambourine, he went way away from that. He didn't do that at all. This one, he didn't go completely back to it, but he had some of that. Mm -hmm. He had that like the pace. I was like, oh, that's like the old Chris Rock cadence again. Yeah. Like that's like where he's walking around, he's doing the music, the music is there again. Yeah. That yeah. where he repeats the premise over and over and over. Like he beats the premise in your fucking head and then like keeps hitting you with the yeah. punches. I was like, oh, that's like old Chris Rock. Dude, shit. that bit, even the bit about Will Smith, that's not even the, his funniest moment. That uh -huh. was just towards the end. Mm. So that's literally what he ends it with. But the rest of his stuff was him just saying like, you know what? This is comedy. I don't give a fuck. And that's what I was waiting for. Yeah. And that's what Dave Chappelle has. Yeah. yeah. And I think with Chris Rock, I think life has been so fucking good for him. He didn't have much to talk about. And this shit, he said everything that everybody thinks, but nobody says, which mm. is what stand-up comedy is supposed to be. That's yeah. what it's supposed to be. Yeah. You know what? I heard a, a good critique. I don't know. I was listening to a podcast. It was, I forgot who it was. It was a comic talking about Chris Rock. And they were saying that before it seemed like Chris Rock was trying to like get like he was like wanted to be in the Hollywood bubble. You know what I mean? Like yes, he was yes, really yes, trying yes. to be in there. So he was kind of like playing the role do to the get Oscars, in there. Do all that but shit. When, after Will Smith slapped the shit out of him and, and he fuck. was like, what the f And no oh, one cared yes. and they applauded. Will, Will Smith won the award. And yeah. He was kind of like, oh, I'm an outsider. Like I'm an outsider. And it made him like open his eyes to be like, fuck these people. These are my people. And then it was back to like, I'm just a comic now. Like fuck these motherfuckers. I really appreciate that because if, if to be honest with you, the comics that are doing movies to me, are some of the worst comics because they're too scared now. They have yeah, somebody they have in their lose. They have somebody in their pockets. Yeah. The comics that just do comedy, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. That's why Shane Gillis is so fucking funny. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care. Yeah. Right. He, he's he's been canceled. Yeah. It's like it's it's been done. You know. Yeah. So it's like fuck it. Louis, same thing. Louis got stronger. Yeah. Louis <laughs> way funnier yeah. now, dude. Like, they don't way care. funnier. And comedy is supposed to be comedy, right? And yeah. look, I'm, 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 by the way, I'm not saying things can't be offensive. Like I've been offended by comics all the sure. time, but I'm not sitting, say, sitting there saying cancel them. I just said like, I didn't fucking like that joke. Yeah. And guess what? I move on with my life. Exactly. Which yeah. is the way it should fucking be. <laughs> yeah. I didn't like it. I won't watch it. I don't have to support it. I don't have to like tell everyone else what they can't watch. Exactly. But somebody was laughing at that shit, right? Yeah. So like even with like, okay, so with this special, right? The thing that I loved about it the most is like, with, like you said, he just doesn't care. He went back to his roots of not mm -hmm. giving a fuck. There was some jokes in there like I missed because he was throwing so many jokes out. So the second time I watched it, it was in 10 times funnier because there was new jokes that I didn't hear before because I was already laughing from the previous one, which that's when you know a special is really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was making Draymond Green jokes. Dude, he threw like five of them. In yeah. There. It was great. He yeah. didn't care. He was making some good ass jokes. He was making fun of his kids. Yeah. He had this bit about like <laughs> the, the private school thing about his kid was so fucking- Such a good bit, dude. So relatable. All yeah. this shit was very down to earth and relatable. Even, that was my favorite bit. Even as a rich person. Sure, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. He even throws like little subtle jokes about like how people identify with shit, right? He goes like, I'm rich, but I fucking identify as poor. And that's, these are my habits. <laughs> and that was so relatable to me, right? Sure. Because- even if, you know, I'm doing financially well, I'm the poor, even like my wife, she's just like, why are you always on Facebook mark, Marketplace and offer up? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, cause it's a deal. It's a yeah. deal. Baby. Are you fucking like fucking this paper is full price? Yeah, yeah. This camera right here, full price plus tax, $2,798.42. Uh, <laughs> right? I got this. 
2100. That's amazing. I love to hear a good yeah, deal, bro. Yeah, yeah. I love some, to hear a good deal. Love, bro. It makes me happy. <laughs> this shit made me horny. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. When, I, when I knew I saved 600 plus dollars. Yeah. Motherfucker, my dick got hard. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> that's because my dick yeah, hard, yeah, boy. Yeah. Six bills. Dog, I was so. <laughs> that's what makes me hard. I was Six so bills. fucking happy. <laughs> and so, because I saw my other camera, I, I'm, I'm like grifting and thrifting shit. Yeah. And I didn't pay shit for this because I sold yeah. all my old stuff and I got this one. Fuck yeah. That's what I love. Hell I don't yeah. give a fuck. He likes yeah. to ha give people hand me downs too because he's like, I'm not going to use it. Do you need it? That's good. Yeah, take it. That's mm -hmm. dope. And you, I can see you get, when you gave me the office chair, you were fucking a little chubbed up. Yep. Because you were like, this is a good deal for you. Yeah. Hey, man, you going to get this deal or what? <laughs> <laughs> take the deal, man. <laughs> take, take it. I need you to take it. <laughs> if I can get something fucking used and cheaper, dog, it gets my rocks off. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love that, though. I love that Chris Rock came back swinging. Man. Oh, I got to finish refreshing. the last 30, but the, the first 30 I saw, I inst instantly, like within the first five minutes, I was like, oh yeah. He's back. This motherfucker. What's back. it called? One of the Jackson family members, I think it was like a nephew or something, mm -hmm. um, clapped back at Chris Rock where he goes, this man has been harassing my family for years, using it in comedy bits. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, get out of here, bro. You th is it only Chris Rock or is it the whole world? It's the yeah. world. So he's like, and he he got what he deserved. I don't feel sorry for him at all. I don't think Chris Rock gives a fuck about you. Yeah, and also, hey, you're allowed to feel like that, but also who gives a fuck about you and what you think? Yeah. yeah. You know, like you can feel that. Listen, I'm not trying to be unempathetic. I understand. But listen, I would get it if nobody did that, but it was only Chris Rock. Yeah. Everybody makes yeah. Michael Jackson jokes. He's a punchline, dude. Yeah. Every comic has made a Michael. Dave Chappelle did a Michael Jackson bit. Everybody. Everybody has. Let's be real. Your uncle Michael Jackson is a fucking legend. Motherfucker was weird as shit. Yeah. yeah. And it's, yeah. It's good shot. He was diddling those kids. Good shot. Good and also, shot. also 75% chance. Super famous. I even give it 80. Yeah. If he was a weirdo and he just lived in Ohio <laughs> in some yeah. random town, no one would talk about him. Yeah. But he was also <laughs> the, the most, most famous, famous <laughs> musician of all time yeah. who had the best selling <laughs> album ever. Like, of course, motherfuckers He's are going to talk about him. The guy. He's yeah. the dude. Like, yeah. How, how so, dare you fucking talk about my uncle who was the most famous person yeah. on earth? He, right. Everybody's talking about him. And he was crazy weird. And yeah. his best friend was Macaulay Culkin. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what the fuck do you expect? The guy looked like a corpse. Yeah. Had the voice of an angel. <laughs> yeah. What did you expect? Amazing dance moves. Fucked I got kids, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Unproven. Who knows? Unproven. Weird. But right? chances are he did. But some there's some shit to talk about. Yeah. yeah. And to make fun about. But there's some unanswered questions. There's some things to discover and uh, dig into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Maybe he'll rap it. Maybe he'll not rap it. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe right? not. Maybe he did or maybe he didn't But diddle. if you had to put your money on it, gun to your head, which way are you going? I think he did. I think he did. For sure. Look, but, any person where you look at them and you go, hey, 50-50 chance he's a rapist. It's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty sure nobody has ever said that about anybody <laughs> in this room here. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like hey, 50-50 rapist. <laughs> That's where, the, where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah. Thing exactly. Works. Yeah, like, it the, makes sense. If you're at the 50% mark, yeah. You pretty much for, did. Of you all things, probably, like, yeah, like well, rape, dude, rape, and then you put a that you put the child part before it. You're already like and you're also, in a special club, my boy. Exactly over the span of decades, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. like this stuck with you. Yeah, it, 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 you can't. You couldn't shake this one. Some jokes are gonna be cracked. Yeah, I'll tell bro. you this still. Like when your fucking <laughs> infamy is as popular as the good shit you've done, there's a problem. Yeah. That's wild. You know, that is yeah. wild. that is the greatest musician that has ever lived. Yeah. That touched kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is a fucking problem. Damn, that's true. Or they give you a pass of how good your music is, but then they always have to bring up like, yeah, yeah like I didn't even think about that, but you're right. The infamy was as like a percentage mm -hmm. wise, yeah, as high as his music talent. Isn't exactly. That wild? And so that's, the, he was really good at music. In the dark realm, he was just as powerful as in the light. Realm. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> the joy he brought versus the darkness he brought. Damn. Damn. You know, equal. That's I, I, I he was back. talented. If I put my money on it, I'd say <laughs> <laughs> he's good at everything, this guy. God damn. <laughs> that's talent. Now, now his nephew's going to do an article about us. <laughs> but look, I would say this. The only that's reason wild. why at the end I decided that he wasn't touching these kids mm. and in a, in a sexual way <clears throat> was because of one fucking clip. What? It was when Michael Jackson was in a limo. And oh, it was dude, a girl that, Oprah? And the girl came up with the titties. And yeah. he, goes, he goes, God damn, look at them things. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he went, hey. Yeah, he like, he like moved Oprah to the side. Like, yeah. oh shit. Like, he, he goes, he goes, 
I never <laughs> seen, what? He did that. But I never that's seen the that. shit where I'm like, this motherfucker's weird. That's he's but, weird for so sure. So that's what I saw that. Like, like, he didn't diddle those kids. Okay, okay. Yeah. Ain't a no way a kid diddler's gonna look at two fucking leche duffels. Mm, yeah. Right? Leche and go, duffels. <laughs> in mid interview with yeah. Oprah chilling. They got a camera crew in there and he's like, couldn't even be bothered. Yeah. Exactly. And he uh, goes, look at them bang. Exactly. Look at the Pelosi's. He was calling them Pelosi's. Pelosi's. Yeah. They were Pelosi's. 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 He knew. He knew. He didn't Probably say she words. Was seven. <laughs> Probably because she was seven at the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit. Oh, Damn boy. No. The math don't add up, but it's, add it's up. there. But it's there. It's there. The, 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 don't yeah. look into it. Don't look into it. But we get it. You know, the gist is there. Yeah, but I, that was a weird. And then the, but, I read. But this. then you, if you rewind a couple years, he's like going to the mall with kids. Yeah. You mm. know, it's just the, no matter what, when you look at that, it's always going to seem a little odd. There's no yeah. way you were going to do that and then defend yourself and you're going to look good. Yeah. Like if you saw me at a mall and I was just hanging out with little kids, I was like, listen, for me, I identify with these kids. Yeah. Like they're, they're the best. No like one's this, buying that. If you're an adult, you can't be around random kids. Yeah. That aren't your own kids. That aren't your own. If you're not a school teacher or like your job doesn't revolve around and children. And you're the most famous person in the world at that time. Yeah. And you have a red flag. A whole place called Neverland yeah. where you hang out with kids only. That's kid, weird. Kid material only. And then I think a lot of people that like, Go the opposite side of like, no, he's innocent. They always go like, well, he didn't do anything with Macaulay. Like that's their evidence. And it's like, that's one kid. That's one yeah, kid. Also, one kid. You know, the he's slow, also the most famous kid Also high world. profile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be smart. <laughs> and you gotta be smart about your targets. Yeah. He wanted to, I'm sure. Probably. But he couldn't. And he I guess like the, the, deal. the other thing the that deal. people use in defense is that, okay, he, has, he had his childhood taken away from very abusive father. The guy was a fucking maniac. Bro, he looks crazy, too. He looks, he doesn't even yeah. look like he his looks dad. Like the, he, the dad looks like the devil, dude. Dude, his eyebrows are fucking he looks nuts. like He looks like the guy, he looks like Uncle Ruckus from Boondocks. Yes. He kind of looks like, hey, yeah. really I'm pretty does. sure they, they, based, they, it they based it off him, right? He's for got sure. Evil fucking eyebrows. He looks like a demonic demonio. Man, and so. He looks like a demonio. He really does. <laughs> the biggest defense is that what? He got his childhood taken away from him. Yeah. So he's trying to relive his childhood because of all the mental trauma he has. I give him that. But there's no way. And first of all, fuck the parents. Yeah. First of all. Yeah, like, yeah. They're weird too. Like send the your parents. kids off to hang out with this 40-year-old man and not, have a chill. slumber party. Not not worst parents bro. on earth. Not, yeah, 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 unacceptable. Stranger danger for real. Yeah, they're not, they're not innocent either. Yeah, no, for at sure. At all. At all. But even like the relive your childhood thing, it's like, okay, I get it. But like, that, you, don't, you don't do that though. Yeah. You know, if you want to relive your childhood, like go to Disneyland yeah, yeah. by yourself <laughs> yeah. and like buy, get the ears and shit. Yeah, go with that's your just going to get old quick. I adult bet. friends and hey, do that. If you're not into molesting kids, that's just going to get old real quick. Hey, I'll tell you this. You know what I mean? Michael Jackson has a funny, there was this interview that I saw. It was him and Oprah and Oprah's trying to do an interview with him and talk to him. But this was so into his dancing that she's asking him questions. He goes, so Michael, he goes, ah, 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 ah. hey, Michael, so what have you done with your next two? What the? <laughs> well, super into it, just moonwalking all over the Bro, place. those clips are fucking legendary. He don't give a fuck, dude. Damn, I feel bro. like he was just fucking messing with her the whole time. Yeah. Or maybe that's just what he's really like. Yeah. Like, he just don't want to talk to no adults. Innocent proven guilty. So Michael Jackson, yeah, yeah, yeah. because you're not proven guilty, you are innocent in my eyes for innocent. now. And look, I don't want to believe in that stuff because I also don't want to believe that these kids were touched inappropriately. Yeah. So for me, I'm going to believe that he well, did But what it. if they're saying it though? If they're saying it, then that's a problem. <laughs> What if they're adults now and they're saying, <laughs> well, then I believe the kids then, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Because that's just some weird shit. Yeah, yeah. I never wanted to slumber party with a bunch of kids. I'll tell you this story. So, Dude, that's weird. It's weird. Well, my, my parents used to do these like Bible study groups, right? As um, where they would, at nighttime, they would have uh, a bunch of people from the church and they would pray together, worship, eat food, grub, and ch chop it up. But they would have little kids. And I'm like 15 at the time and I'm sleeping in my room. And then these kids still, they want to play. And they're in my room at night. And my mom's just play with them. I was like, mom, no, it's fucking nighttime. And yeah. there's little kids in my room. Get them the fuck out of my room. That's what the weird. Yeah. You know, but their parents are just like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah. they just want to play with their older brother, sibling. Sure. And I just was telling them like, this doesn't look right. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if you trust me, right? You yeah, shouldn't send your kids in the room with a 15 year old kid. Yeah, weird. You know, weird. So, I understand why parents are so sometimes aloof because yeah. they, they know me, right? Yeah. But I was just telling them- They like, just like you so much. Yeah, and I couldn't explain to them. I couldn't speak Korean They just don't time. want a parent right now. Yeah, they just Dude. don't want a parent. They're like, you guys take, you take care of them. I'm like, no, I'm 15. Yeah. And I shouldn't be hanging out with five-year-olds in my room. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know Strange. what I mean? So I just like, no, tell them to leave my room and I'm going to be in my room by yeah. myself. And I was just really weirded out by yeah. that shit. 
But my parents didn't, but the parents didn't get it. They're like, what's the problem? Just babysit them. I'm like, no, no this is weird. Yeah, you know what I mean? You guys don't understand how weird look. this is. And this is me as a 15 year old kid. I thought it was odd. Yeah, Dude, if I'm at the park, like I'll be at the park with my, I'm with my daughter. Mm -hmm. And like, if she runs off and then another kid, because sometimes kids will come up to you and like want to play with you. Like they're random kids. Like, ah, get and the fuck I, out of here. I'm, I'm very like, <laughs> Where the fuck is this kid's parents? Yeah, yeah. And like I, I like I like make, you put your I, hands I, I put my hand, I'm like, yo, like my hands are here, dude. Yeah. Cause I'm just a dude, right? Like yeah. they don't know, like my I'm they assume my kids around, but I'm a dude and I, I'm very like I get uncomfortable. I'm like, dude, 100%. where's your parents? Look, my hands are here. I'm not trying to fuck a kid. My daughter's like, right I'm over there. Very, it's we it's like it's not chill. My yeah. daughter's right over there. Yeah, that's I my touch her. Yeah, that's my yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get the that's, my like, that's not what I meant. I meant that stuff. Like, okay, this is weird. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dude, like a kid like came up to me and like wanted, so I was holding my on the monkey bars and like, I, I she can't do it by herself. She's fucking weak. So I'll like hold, I'll hold <laughs> <laughs> I hold her and I help her. And this other kid, random kid came up to me and was like, hey, can you help me? And I was like, like, I don't want to fucking. Where's your dad? I'm dude? not going to pick this random. I want to help the kid because it's like, I want to, like, I want him to have a good time, but like, I'm not trying to pick this random yeah. fucking isn't kid. I'm going to touch you. Isn't it so sad that we live in this type of world now? Yeah. Where like, mm -hmm. you can't even help a kid without somebody looking at you like you're a creep. And I get it too because 100%. I don't trust nobody. Even yeah. with my friend's kids, if some random person comes up, I'm like, who the fuck are you? Yeah, yeah. right. You know, if, someone's touch, if someone dudes holding Maya, I would go over there and be like, who the fuck are you? I'm going to beat your fucking Let ass. Let go of yeah. my fucking daughter, you creepy weirdo. Yeah. The fuck? Yeah, I would Especially in this climate, fuck. in this day to day. Unless it's somebody that I under, like, I know. Like, if it was one of you guys, mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh, cool. All right. But it's still a random fucking, ass fucking dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude. Stop. Stop. <laughs> but, like, dude, some fucking rando just holding your kid. Just people just no, fuck. Yeah. Dog. Like, no. dude, they, I think they nah. recently released um, audio recordings of like Jared Fogel, the subway guy. I don't know why I laughed, but uh, the subway guy, you <laughs> yeah. know, because he went to jail. If you guys don't know, for people who are a little younger who might be listening to this, Jared Fogel was the spokesperson for Subway. He was about like 300 plus pounds, huge. And his whole campaign was that he lost weight during Subway. And his campaign brought a lot of money to Subway. I know because I ate a lot of Subway because of him. Everybody did. It was yeah. the hottest thing. Yeah. And Subway was eating fucking meatball parms for lunch. Yeah. yeah. And I think I even- I'm not losing weight. <laughs> even before California made the law that you have to put the calories onto your food, I think Subway was doing that before. Oh, right? shit. Right? I think so. Because they. I remember- they were doing macro counting. So yeah. this this sub this sandwich sandwich with no mayo is only 320 calories. So no you could mayo. calorie count. Mm. So it blew up Subway. They were making a shit ton of money. Turns out FBI did a raid. They found that he had a shit ton of kids. I'm talking, okay, look, you got like, I don't know, six or seven files of kitty porn already disgusting. Yeah. This guy had terabytes. Jesus. Terabytes. Like hard drives upon hard hard drives of this shit. He was a sick fuck. Terabytes. So they found recordings or they released recordings of him talking to somebody about, hey, dude, you can go to Thailand and fuck these kids. <sighs> oh, like dude. You, Subway must be so fucking pissed. Out of all the guys that they could have gotten that was like really heavy and lost weight, they picked the guy who was watching terabytes of child porn. In disgusting. That's the only guy they could have found, bro. Like they're lucky. <laughs> he would never eat foot longs, only six inches. I want it smaller. <laughs> <laughs> I want it petite and small. I'll take the six year old. I mean six inches. Come again. Oh my god. The fucking dude. world that we live in is fucking disgusting, man. Yeah, it's weird. I really do weird. think. I'm not saying he was probably like this even before the fucking fame, but like For that sure. fame gave him access to shit that he never had access to oh, before. No, the money, everything. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, just like Hollywood's really fucking weird. Like nobody is ever oh, honest yeah. in this world. You know, I think the thing that I got sick of the most, and the reason why, like, I enjoy doing podcasts and doing what we do here, is because I could say what I like or dislike, mm -hmm. and I have no inclination to not say it, because people will do this where they'll objectively see a project that another fellow actor is in, right? And they'll see him, they go, dude, you were so amazing that project. And they know that it sucks. Instead of just being looking at, hey bro, that fucking movie was fucking pretty bad, huh? Right? You, why can't you just say that? Yeah. yeah. Why can't you just say that? I feel like you do that here a lot. A lot. Yeah. I do that to their face too. And they get yeah. shocked. Like, oh, oh, what do you mean? You know why? Because it sucked. You know what? Let me tell you. <laughs> it sucked. Let me tell you exactly why. <laughs> From top to bottom. Let me do a two hour podcast you. about how terrible it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's okay too. I it's think okay. Normal people would do that. But it, it just, I, I think especially like too in like the acting world. I mean, I, I'm speaking, I'm speaking generally, but like there's like that, like kind of, 
I don't know that just there's like that fakeness about it. Yes, and that's 100%. the difference with like comedians. It's like ball busting's in the in the yeah. culture, so they will tell you like you come from like a comedy background, so you're not afraid to be like, yo, that shit was fucking whack. Mm. And people, you know, like not everyone is thin skinned around in your world, so they're like, yeah, you know, it, it, the way you should take that is be like, okay, that's your opinion, and like hopefully take the right criticism from it, apply it to the next movie. But yeah, Hollywood type shit, everyone's- I just hate it when, they, fuck. when people come up to each other and they do do that and they talk shit about it behind their back. Just yeah. say it to their face. Right, which is the way it should be done. Yeah, and it's completely fine because guess what? You're not going to be great at everything that you do. Look at, look at uh, what's his name? Fucking uh, Brendan Schaub. Like all of his peers made fun of his special and they're still friends. Yeah. Right? They, because they didn't like it. Are yeah. they though? I don't know. What's going on? The, 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 the Mufasa guy- it just had a falling out with Who's those, the Mufasa those, guy. Remember the Ariel Hawani was like the washed up Mufasa looking character. It was like the 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 oh, some the young buff dude. So they just had a falling out. I was just watching a bunch of shit. I was like, what the fuck? They had a falling out. Oh, so that like, random buff. He looks like he has Botox on his lips and shit. He was like the guy. He was their manager or something. But he just got fired, and now he's like on this whole tour of talking shit about them. Damn, bro. I was like, like what love. the fuck is going on? I don't know. I just saw that recently. Mark, Mark Wine. No, Mark. Yeah, Mark something. Mark Small. No, Mark Mines. Mark Small. Mark, Mark, no, Mark Smalls is the other dude. Okay, Mark something. He's though. a very funny comedian, Mark Small. Mark, okay. Mark, uh, Mark some shit. Yeah. Like, he does look like a lion. I'm not trying to like stir shit up, but like I just saw this like last yeah. week where he's like on this tour about like talking shit about. I mean, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Listen, that's. I'm so tired of just like shitting on Brendan Shaw. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, let the, let the boy live, man. Let yeah. the boy live. He going yeah. through it, huh? Yeah, I feel like he going yeah. through it. Let the boy he's really live. Going through it for sure. You know what I do say? I appreciate about him. Like at least he's he's a fucking on the road working all the time, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like he's, he's trying hustling. to get better twenty four fucking seven. I don't know. Look, I can't speak about him personally because we're not friends like that. Sure, you know sure. what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. I have nothing to say about his personal life. Only the stuff that I've seen online, and I'll talk about it because it's a topic. But just like for you to lose your job, and then your first thing is like, okay, now for it's time for me to get my fame and go on this tour. Might not be the best look for him, right? Because that thing yeah. is going to last for how long? Yeah. No, but I'm just saying that it just, there's always conflict around that team. Like that's, that, that's yeah. the thing that I see. I just see like, anytime there's like constantly conflict around a certain person or team, it's like, what the fuck is going on? CTE you know? got hit in the head too much or something. But what's like, what's happening? You know? I don't know what it is, dude, but he it's constantly dripped in drama. Dude, people like, look at the Tiger Belly stuff too. They constantly talk shit about Kalila 24 fucking seven. Yeah, bro. Bobby needs to leave Kalila. They go to, after her, dude. They need to, and the funny thing is, is, you know, this is people from the outside perspective who look at Tiger Belly as if Tiger Belly, like Bobby runs the show 24 seven. Like they're a full on ass team. Yeah. Everybody mm. plays their part. The one thing that Bobby, Bobby is the entertainment, right? Everybody runs the back end. So, which is, they've been open about that shit, but they go, if it wasn't for Bobby, this show wouldn't happen. No, if it wasn't for them, the show wouldn't happen. Mm. Yeah. It would literally would not happen because I know this from an artist perspective, right? When you're just focused on being an artist, you actually don't know how to do shit. Mm. You don't. You absolutely have, like, like, Bobby's not like me. He doesn't know equipment, camera, lighting, all this other stuff. He, he doesn't know how to grow tomatoes, bro. Yeah, let me tell you, let me guys know something. This motherfucker, can I say something real quick? Hey, you, guy, you, you talk, I'll, 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 you continue. I'll explain. Go, go. We're at the gym. We're uh -huh. all lifting weights together. There's like four or five guys. Okay. Marlon, of all people. Marlon Marlon's Williams. one of our, our boys who train. He's a great trainer. He's a sweet, sweet boy. Sweet guy. But you know how he is. He's the free spirit and shit. Free know? spirit. I love the guy. Like, he's great. Him and David start talking about irrigating tomatoes, dude. Oh <laughs> Bro, look at this shit. <laughs> what the fuck? And it's like, dude, in, in my head, I'm laughing because I'm like, David goes into this like 15-minute tirade <clears> about like, all the things you need to do to create tomatoes. And he's using like, uh, he's using vocabulary. NPK, baby. That's yeah. what you need. He's using vocabulary that I've never even like, you know, you need to get the nematodes. And I was like, what the, f that's a real fucking thing. He's going <laughs> off on this tangent. And in my head, I'm like, this is the most David thing in the world because the most David thing in the world is him knowing all the inner workings of any specific topic way too long, talking way too much about it. And he just deep dives so hard where you're like, oh, of course David knows how to make 72 varieties of tomatoes. So right? you, just, you just get obsessed with shit and just dive in. Huh? So I got diagnosed with ADHD. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is and show and tell about tomatoes. ADHD. It's pretty severe. And even before I got diagnosed, uh, I already knew I had it. Yeah, yeah. You know, so one of the things like, you know, we get very into things and we move on from things really fast. So yeah. we have trouble like paying attention to conversations. Um, that's why usually all my friends that I have are really weird. Mm. They're fucking oddballs. You fucking weird fucks. I'm not weird, bro. And so, I'm pretty normal, dog. I think. 
this right here, my friends, are black princes. Black princes. Yes, they 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 drew me a little that? slower. No, this is what they're actually called. They're called black princes. Hey, hey, hey. Here we have. <laughs> take it easy, huh? Uh, hey, take, take hey, it hey, easy, huh? Take it oh, easy. that was a great name. Twenty twenty three. Here, are my huh? friends, is a beefsteak tomato, which is the heirloom that you typically see a lot. That's probably the only ones that you could really get in grocery stores pretty consistently. <laughs> uh, when it grows, see, these is right here, this is David shit right here. Mm-hmm, these right here are what sprouts first. So this is this right here are pretty much the useless leaf. These. Right That's here. the good stuff. This is the good shit, right? Okay. So this is when they photosynthesize. And after this, you could pluck these off. The great thing about tomatoes, my friends, is that they have these little, little furs. They're one of the few plants that actually can grow roots from the stem so you could bury it deep. Right? Got it. Fantastic. Huh. So with this bad boy And why here, is that advantageous? Because it prevents, you could grow a really strong root system. So when you grow tomatoes, <laughs> right, my friends? Yeah. You don't want to grow in small bags because you want a strong root system because they're feeders and they'll feed out a lot. Okay. Ah. So what I'm going to do is plant this in a cup. And from the cup, they're going to grow a strong root system. I'm going to put it into a bigger bag and a bigger bag so it has a stronger chance of surviving. Uh, heirloom tomatoes are delicious, by the way. See, it's fascinating. So, so, so you, <laughs> this is fucking amazing. Wait, it's amazing. So you bought these little pods? Is that what so you got? So these right here are... Um, they're basically peat starter pods, right? So they come out in these little pucks that are about this small. You fill it with water. They expand. Um, they're great because they retain a lot of moisture, which seedlings need, mm. and for it to stay consistently moist so it could sprout. So they, on average, if you if, if it stays about like 60 degrees, so you'll get like a heat mat. Or if you have a sunny window, that's good too. Mm. But the warmer that it is, if it stays from 60 to, I believe, like 70 or 80 degrees, uh, it'll sprout within seven days. Oh, wow. You know what I'm talking about, dude? Yeah. And it's then, just so thorough. It's crazy. So how long before it actually starts showing tomatoes? About three months, which is actually pretty fast uh, for most things that bear fruit, right? So if you look at fruit trees, they take years. Yeah. That's why when people are like, oh, I'm growing this avocado tree from this pit. Hey, you're going to get avocados in 20 years, idiot. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Speed it up, jerk off. Yeah, go get a fucking tree that's already done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dummy. Right? Yeah. So, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I gotta wait three months. that now. property, brother. <laughs> but whenever, whenever I see people do that, like, I grew this avocado tree. I'm gonna get avocado soon. Twenty years from now, yeah, dumbass. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so this is grow really fucking slow. It's a fucking tree, idiot. Sure, <laughs> you yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> but tomatoes too. If you guys don't know, if you guys had tomatoes your whole life, right, and you go, these things are always flavorless. That's because like tomato, cr- cr- commercially grown tomatoes usually taste pretty bad. Mm. They just taste like water. Mm-hmm. The ones that you grow at home, fucking delicious. They actually have flavor. So ever since I had it then, I've never been able to go back. You love tomatoes. And now I love tomatoes. Tomatoes so are bomb. My favorite varieties are uh, sun gold. So defensive, dude. Hey. Hey, dog. Hey. Hey. Be defensive. If dog. you want to, ma- I have 72 plants, including all this. Holy so shit. So if you want plants, I, I'm only going to grow eight of them. So I'm giving them away. Oh, yeah. I'll take some for sure. So let's go, baby. Are they, so, are they easy to maintain? Like, is it hard to take care of them or? Uh, I'll teach you how to do it. Okay, okay. But yeah. one Sounds plant- like it's pretty hard, dude. I'm down, though. Dude, this is dope. This. You have the sunlight for it. It's just dope. So oh, people who are listening probably hate me right now. I don't no, give a fuck. I'm fuck excited. That. Yeah. Just, I like Martha Stewart shit. I love it. So you have like two different types of tomatoes, right? You have determinants and indeterminants. Uh, okay. Determinants are, they have a set amount of fruit that they're going to produce. Indeterminants stop producing fruits when the season ends. Mm. So if you start from spring and let's say you do it indoors, you could technically grow tomatoes the year round nonstop, like a perennial. Wow. Oh. So uh, people will do hydroponics indoors. So for example, my buddy Robin started his tomatoes last year, spring, and he's, they're, dying now, but they still have some tomato fruits on it even after a whole year. Wow. So as long as the weather stays warm and then the season technically doesn't end, it'll continue to grow fruit. So if I started this tomato plant here in this corner of this wall, that plant will keep growing like a vine. And it'll produce more and more fruit. So people actually grow tomato trees where they'll trellis it all the way up to about eight feet tall. Wow. And it'll produce fruit consistently. Holy shit. So indeterminate tomatoes tomatoes, are pretty fucking amazing sun golds which are really popular they're like cherry tomatoes but they're yellow they actually taste like tropical fruits really they're fucking delicious wow like one of you gonna plant some you gonna make some of those uh, on that one i'm actually planting three i want some of those yeah well (laughs) guess what i can give you one and you could try taking care of it well i i just don't have we can't even keep a fucking an aloe plant in our fucking house plant murderer i see um we have we have terrible sunlight so these right here are actually ready to plant and put it in the cups. I just need to buy some solo cups for it. Whenever you're ready, I'll give you some fucking tomatoes. In three months, you'll have the best tomatoes of your life. I want big, some how, tomatoes, bro. How big do the cups have to be? They're just solo cups like that. I'm going to already give it to you set up. So I'm oh, going to okay. give it to people when the roots are set. So they have a better chance of surviving. Yeah, yeah. And then all you need to do is get a grow bag. Um, get some loose fitting soil. So basically, you can get… It, it, the bag will say um, potting soil. Mm. Right? Before you plant it. Um, the problem is that when you put it in bags, they they lack calcium, which eventually develops them getting something called root at like end rot, mm. which is something you don't want. So mm. I have gypsum. 
So I'll just put like a bit of gypsum in there. You got some gypsum? I don't, I don't even know what gypsum is. It's just calcium. <laughs> it's calcium. He said it gypsum. like we're supposed to know what fucking it's gypsum is. Calcium. Oh, calcium. Right? Okay, okay. So you See how put, disrespectful that's that like is? a group of yeah. people. So <laughs> you're going to get gypsum. Just get it. These, these grow bags, by the way, are like, you can get like 10 of them for like fucking 20 bucks. Yeah. So um, you're just probably only going to need two. Okay. All right. Because you're not going to grow this many tomatoes. Sure. I have a bunch of like chef friends I'm going to give it out to. That's why I'm growing seven. That's sick. And then um, plant it, put it with calcium, put a little bit of rock Absolutely. phosphate in there. Mm. I have that as well for you. Um, because you just need a handful of it. And you only okay. need to do it once. And then after that, just fertilize every two weeks and keep it consistently watered. One of the biggest problems that people have with tomatoes is that they overwater or they underwater. Mm. The best way to do it is to do it through an Oya system, which is just a you got an Oya system. What the fuck is that? So you get an Oya, which is well, I think is African. I apologize. But they the terracotta pot actually releases moisture. So the plant will grow roots around the terracotta pot uh, and it'll only take as much water as it needs. So oh, you don't ever overwater. I heard terracotta really is the way to go. Yeah. So you put the terracotta pot into the bag. God, no, shot, okay. No, and shot. then you put the water in it and all you have to do is put water into the pot instead of the soil. So it never gets overwatered or oh, underwatered because wow. the plant will take as much as it needs. Wow. So you don't even have to worry about it. And you just water every three or four days and you're pretty much good to go. Dude. And then just fertilize every two weeks. Can you believe that we started talking about Michael Jackson diddling kids and now we're talking about the irrigation systems you need to fucking Terracotta grow tomatoes, bro? Baby. An Oya irrigation system? Could you believe that's how this conversation went? Dude, I love it. Dude, honestly, I fucking love plants. I, I've I've started, I have a few at the house and I've it just trial, I just got into it. I just like, I bought a bunch of plants and I was like, I'm gonna figure this shit out. One of my, I had a money tree, root rot like a motherfucker. I replanted it. I don't know what the fuck I did wrong. You overwatered it. I think I overwatered it. Root rot, like that shit you're talking that about. smells. Came out, it oh. just like, did, like just mushed on the bottom. Like, all right, these fools died. I got to try again. But I have the little, what are they called? The pot house? Pot, pot house? Pot house? The, the, the usual typical hanging plants. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah Those yeah, are yeah. pretty easy to take care of, but those guys are going strong. I have a rubber tree. Is this right here? Yeah, yeah. I have a rubber plant that's going pretty strong that I brought back from the dead. But I've had a couple, of, like a fern that fucking died that just, I don't know what the fuck happened and the money tree died. So what the, the biggest mistake that people make with those trees, right? Money trees are trees. Mm -hmm. So they store a lot of water into their trunks. They actually don't need to be watered too much. Mm. So there's a few plants that don't need to be watered a lot. So rubber trees, they drink a lot of water. Mm. So they're actually really easy to care for. Money trees, you could plant them in like minimal sunlight, just have it in a shady spot, but it gets like indirect sunlight mm. and it'll do perfectly fine. Mm. So once you check the soil, You'll see the leaves. They'll feel like a little rubbery. Where just give it some water then. So you yeah. probably water them every like two or three weeks, and mm. then you're pretty much good to go. So yeah. it, it was it was cool for a long time, and then so I repotted it because I, I heard someone say that you should repot shit. Did that started? I don't know. And then it just shit fell apart from that point on. Yeah, Maybe I fucked the roots up or something. Yeah. But. Once you get root rot, what you have to do is you have to clean the roots very thoroughly. Yeah. So you have to wash it. That's what happened with this. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't take care of it. it. Had root rot, so I just planted it in the water, and it came back to life. Yeah. But hydrogen peroxide, mm. spray it out and then um, wash it out with water and then plant it back in and it's pretty much good to go. So uh, rubber trees are very easy. Mm. ZZ plants are a really good starter plant. You don't only need to water that ZZ plant maybe every month and a half to two months. Damn. So the ZZ plant, it'll grow out very strong, grows in like minimal, minimal sunlight. And on top of that, they have these like sacks underneath next to the root system yeah. that actually co collect and store water. So you don't have to water it that much. Wow. So if you're going away for a long time, you can fucking leave that shit for a month. Oh man, and it's that's awesome. Perfect. Dude, we're just a couple plant daddies over Bro, here. Bro, it's guy. crazy <laughs> to watch you guys just go off. And I'm just like, what? The Bro, plants, are, you should get into plants. I, are sick, I want dog. to, but it just, our, we, we, we kill our plants. At the Dunn household, all our plants are dying. So if you guys ever wanted indoor plants, like the easiest plants to get, in my personal opinion, any type of rubber plant, right? Money trees. Snake plants. Yeah, her snake, snake plants plant. are dope. Yeah. We got a monstera. Monsteras are pretty easy too. They yeah, don't need monstera. to be watered much. The great thing about monsteras are they actually <laughs> like to be potted into smaller, smaller pots. Mm. So if you put them into a lot of soil, they actually don't like it. I just never knew you were like this in a plant. It's wild how much you know about plants. That's what I'm saying. Isn't that a trip? That's <laughs> yeah, what I'm yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah, like, yeah. It's some shit like this where we yeah. he just goes off and I'm like, dude, you're speaking another language. I... He's got the don't tray of tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I can fucking tree. tell, dude. I literally don't sleep. Yeah. I, I read up shit. So I've learned to shut my phone off at night because I'll go and learn like a motherfucker about useless shit no. that doesn't help my career at all. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> so I get super into things, right? Like Monsteras too. I also found out about the smaller potting thing. I also thought that Monsteras actually bear fruit. 
What kind of fruit? Kind of fruit. It's a monster fruit. It looks like a pine cone. And it's actually very, very sweet. Mm. So if you, it'll shed its outer layer. Uh-huh. But if you eat it before it naturally sheds it off, you should be able to tap it and it sheds off. It'll actually create these little like microscopic spikes that'll fuck up your throat. Oh. But it tastes like a mix between like guava and banana. Ooh. And mango. Yeah. What the fuck? Guava, banana, but mango? They're very hard to grow here because we don't have the climate. It needs to be very, very humid. Uh, so if you get like monstera fruit, then that means you need to have a, a, humid, a, humidifier, a humidifier next to it and the fruit will grow maybe. But we're not in the climate for it. Uh, so it's pretty fucking cool, man. Wow, dude. Damn, bro. Monstera fruit. Did you think we were going to talk about that? Time? I had no idea what a monstera was <clears throat> before 10 minutes ago. Yeah, dude. Monsteras are fucking great. Great, man. If you guys ever get into plants, it's nice to take care of something too. It is sick. Yeah. And yeah. Then you see I it like flourish. Plants. plants are dope, dude. It, it, it's satisfying to see like your work pay off. You're like, oh, this is but That's dope, why I dude. stopped caring about, it started with house plants and then I started gardening. Yeah. Uh, at least I can eat my shit. Yeah. No, that gardening is definitely where it's at. No, yeah. I bet once you grow like your first crop of tomatoes, that's probably going to be the most satisfying thing ever. I've always fantasized about having my own home garden yeah. where I can grow my own shit. Tomato people as well. If you do plant tomatoes, make sure that you uh, grow companion plants with it as well to, to get rid of insects. So marigolds and also basil. Really good with it. Wow. Who would have fucking thought? That's you know? amazing, dude. Who would have yeah. fucking thought? A hundred percent. Dude, you could just grow your shit. Think about it like this, right? If you get a pack of cilantro seeds, right? It's like fucking three, four dollars. You just throw that down. They grow like fucking weeds and you have cilantro for fucking five, six months and you just spend three dollars on it. Because it is annoying to have to go to the store and buy cilantro. hundred percent. I'm going to do that. I planted, I planted literally 12 of them into the soil and they're sprouted already. Like these cute little thing, little sprouts and they're going to grow. Great thing about cilantro. Weird thing about cilantro that people don't know is actually a cold weather fucking herb, even though we eat it a lot during the summertime. Mm. So what happens when it gets too hot, they actually sprout flowers and they start to germinate. Oh, okay. And which isn't great, but the the flowers of the cilantro taste really fucking good. Really? It's like an intense cilantro flavor. Oh, wow. Really? So you can, so you see a lot of chefy types use it as garnish. Uh. <clears throat> so I don't mind if it sprouts. I'll just eat the, sp- I'll, I'll eat the flowers as well. And oh, they're wow. fucking delicious, dude. And it's a really dope garnish. Parsley as well. Basil, super easy. Where, where, oh. my question, where, cause I heard there's certain seeds, like picking your seeds is important, right? Like, you don't, there's certain seeds that are apparently, like, so, I, I don't know if I'm explaining so it right. So, people but. will do like, they'll get, oh, I want like non GMO seeds. Yeah. I want like heirloom seeds mm. um, that are organic. And honestly, like, when you first start, who the fuck cares? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Like, just, just, fucking yeah, okay. just make sure that when you plant your seeds, plant two or three at the same time because not all of them are going to germinate, mm. right? So that's what the guarantee that you get from like really reputable sources. Like they'll they'll germinate. Like for me, I got some reputable sources. I assume that some of them weren't going to sprout. Every single one, that's why I have 72 fucking tomato plants. <laughs> Dude. So like yeah. these ones sprouted really late. The Black Princes, look how small these are. Black Princes. These ones sprouted really black fucking late. Black Prince. Um, Michael Jackson was a Black Prince. At one, <laughs> <laughs> at one point. These are my MJs. <laughs> these are my MJs, dog. <laughs> And I got my LGBT uh, rainbows. These are nice. the rainbow tomatoes. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> they shouldn't even be this big in this tree sprout. Once they sprout, I should already plant it and transfer Okay. Better plant them, motherfuckers, dude. Well, plant those I just have to water them every day now. But okay. um, once these are pretty much good to go. So I'm going to plant these probably tomorrow. Dude, that's uh, tomorrow. fucking awesome. I love that. That's cool shit. Yeah, You're man. inspiring me to plant some fucking cilantro. Because I always run out of cilantro. I'll tell you, when I first saw these things, the seedlings sprout, I was so fucking happy. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. And then now so satisfying. I'll show you the ones in the garage, man. And I, there's some outside too that I'm actually going to give to Marlon and you now. And mm-hmm. I'm, I have like five other people who want these. So I'm going to give you like four or five because you'll probably kill like three of them anyways. Because, <laughs> you know, it's your first time. <laughs> you need a happens, companion yeah. plant, dude. Basil. So, I have basil at the house yeah, right dude. now. Yeah. Just, I'll have, just fucking put some basil in there. So in the grow bag, right? Uh-huh. Just you could either put a terracotta spike in there and I'll show you all that shit. And then you just put like a bottle and it'll take the water that it needs. Mm. That's what I suggest. Um, or what you can do is in that same bag, plant um, basil into it. Okay. And then it'll help with pests. Okay. Because one of the things that it'll get is like mites and like um like this dusty mold type of shit. Okay. But basil helps with that and also marigolds. And marigolds are just pretty. It's an African flower. Okay. Uh, and it grows during the spring. Beautiful as shit. Um, oh, that's fucking awesome. You're going off right now. You're ready. You're spitting right you're now. You're ready boy. for the apocalypse. You yeah. fucking spit. Yeah, you're just yeah, last of us. Just, People think I'm bullshitting, dude. Like I literally have the hardest time sleeping. Like I legit… I don't, I should not know this much about tomatoes. But at least you're productive. You yeah. Most like if I'm not sleeping, I'm on YouTube or I'm jerking yeah, off or something. You know what I mean? Like I'm not <laughs> I'm learning both. about fucking agriculture and learning how to create the fucking new beings and eat tomatoes and shit. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> new amazing. organisms. Yeah, that's hey, awesome. Hey man, when the apocalypse comes, you guys are ready to eat a lot of tomatoes. Damn, I'm ready, dude. Ready, dog. Very high in lycopene, which is great for cell regeneration. All right, dude. By the way. I got to pee, bro. Okay. You got to pee? Well, guys, that wraps up this episode of, 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 of Tomatoes. Um, 
Dude, you went hard on tomatoes. I was like, I thought this was going to be like five minutes tops, dude. No, we're guys. talking about tomatoes for a whole you 20, bro. You did it. I yeah, did. It was my yourself. fault. Hey, don't, 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 <laughs> get, hey, don't make go on about Japanese eggplants. Uh, here we go. Bro, I did. I gotta go, dude. I'm so, gonna Japanese, my so Japanese eggplants, I guys. I did. Right? Welcome to Jesus, bro. And they're actually a biting type. So they actually, you need a trellis for them so they can glide you on the things. Out, dog. So this wraps out. up this episode of the Ginger's Brain <laughs> Podcast. We have Nick the Ear here, the man with the smallest penis that you've ever seen in your life, dude. Hell we call yeah, him brother. Japanese eggplants for a reason. Sometimes Damn, it is boy. crazy where you're like, dude, I didn't know my penis can get that small. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. Been and then there. we have Pat. We call him the elephant titus dick because we were surprised how large and lumpy it is. There we go. That shit weird. Uh, that shit weird. Uh, a little fungal infection on that shit. <laughs> All right. Here we go. The last of us, the dick version. Uh, you can get Genius Brain every Sunday at 12 p.m. Nick at Nick the Ear. Patrick at Patrick.t.riley. Check him out. He's doing stand up once again, baby. See him at his shows. Boom. Throw some tomatoes at him. Let's go. Let's get it. Everybody, love us. Long time. <laughs> See you on this night. Peace.